is what really happens there. 5,000 people starving to death every month. Starving to death. 5,000 people starving to death and hundreds of thousands of people like snackish. <laughs> I can go for just like a little, little, little bristle. <laughs> yeah, so you're a great leader, my friend. <laughs> the, the, the Yom Kippur War, the Six Day War, the, the raid on Antibi. Oh boy, no wonder they gave you the Nobel Peace Prize. You never won a war in your life. <laughs> uh, thanks, everybody. What a hilarious night. Hey, guys, I don't mind if you bomb, just do it at next time at a restaurant in Tel Aviv. <laughs> They say that the bill for the war is coming in, like it's like you're at a restaurant. The bill for the war is yeah. coming in. Oh, who ordered scuds? You know. <laughs> wow. Blue-eyed Jew, first yes, of all. Yes, I know. I, well, you remind me of like a young Sharon when Sharon well, was like a young swaggering kind of Netanyahu Jew. There, there was an attempt. <laughs> there was an attempt in about '44 to make all Jews blue eyes. Really? Yeah, I don't know if. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Look, I know that for many years, uh, big criticism as I refused to meet face-to-face -face negotiation with Israel, but why? Two words, Golda Meir. <laughs> uh, it's not a face you want to face, believe me. I'm kidding, she's a, she's a lovely woman, very handsome woman. Officials intercepted emails that mentioned possible attacks on large American cities. How does that affect you, Mr. Voss? You know, uh, I live and grew up in Plainfield, New Jersey my whole life. It's 99% black. I've been on high alert for 45 years now. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a sin to target Middle Eastern men because with a couple of minor exceptions like September 11th, the 93 attack on the uh, World Trade Center, the, uh, the Achille Laurel, the USS Cole, the uh, attacks on the Marine Barracks in uh, Kenya and Tanzania, Pan Am over Lockerbie, the uh, U.S. Embassy in Beirut and the Marine Barracks in Beirut. Oh. Um, and don't forget the... Uh, the attempted shoe bombing on American Airlines by Richard Reed. With those very minor exceptions aside, <laughs> Middle Eastern men are no threat at all. <laughs> oh, hey, we got a gift for you. Oh, okay? uh, it's the first rock you ever chucked at an Israeli tank. Oh. Oh. Thank you, guys. Don't be a stranger. I mean, I'll still be around, you know. It's not like I'm going to retire in Miami. Allah oh. <laughs> uh, Akbar, good night. <laughs> country where people are afraid to say how they really feel. Ironically, the only place I hear the truth is in comedy clubs. Comedians may be perverts, lazy, selfish, and bad dressers, but they don't lie. So if you can't watch people's honest opinions without fighting, bullying, or boycotting, you can check out a repeat of The Gilmore Girls on another channel, stupid. What'd you just say? I said, even, even, even this wonderful network that this show is on that I get to do it once oh, a week. Oh, my Lord. Um, I, <laughs> what are you going to say? I was doing my half hour special, yeah. and uh, I do the thing about the sniper, the black sniper, Yes. and blah, 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 blah. The punchline was nigga in a Buick, and... <laughs> It's so funny they, they, cut out, the they cut out they cut out Buick. They cut out they Buick. Cut out Buick. <laughs> I swear to God. Because because they didn't want to uh, oh. Buick. Oh. In a <laughs> if you want to say some curse on this network, yes. you have to be like a cartoon or a talking turd. Then it's oh okay. that's right. <laughs> Whenever I'm around you, Helen, I start talking like you. I don't, you know, I'm like, <laughs> trying to make a point, you know, the brutality yeah. of capital punishment. But they have no balls. If they have balls, they ask for a crucifixion. I say. You know what? No, seriously, that makes a big statement. People are still talking about that today. <laughs> Zinging. How about it's zingers? That's what the show's zingers. about, Jerry. Zingers. zingers. Okay. <laughs> it's our little attempt to make the big box. Do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should ask, what would Jesus drive? <laughs> That's a real commercial. So what do you think? Tasteless? What? Can I say I don't know what brand he would drive, but I bet it would be an automatic, because nothing makes driving a stick harder than a hole in your hand. <laughs> I think that it's interesting you would say that. Uh, I mean, I was an altar boy, and it's interesting. No, it's interesting how anything can be a sign of rejection. I look back and I think, you know, what about me, Father? How what? I wasn't good enough for you, Father. I wasn't sexy enough. Oh yeah, the O'Malley twins got it twice a week, but you couldn't lift up little Don Herrera's cassock and make him feel important. They don't want Marilyn Manson at Six Flags because he has plastic breasts and eye contacts. I guess I'm not bringing my wife to Six Flags. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
not a director, could we get a shit, quick shot of Norton, like, sitting there eating that strawberry like a gay <laughs> Roman emperor? <laughs> Look at him. He's a decadent Roman naughty emperor. <laughs> They always tax things that aren't necessary, you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. I, I just want to get one in before I hear a shirt comment. Uh, <laughs> I'm a comedy genius, and it's hard to, it's hard to express right. why, why that's funny. And um, there was a bomb threat in front of my building. Um, they would not let anybody go down the block. You and I sure had to... you weren't doing a show? <laughs> <laughs> No, and I loved you in Sha Na Na. <laughs> I hate that look when you give. Like that's so satisfying. To I you. know. No, and you know you wanted to say. You wanted to say that guy too. Well, I was waiting for the huge black penis joke. Yeah. I was to see how he was going to fit that in. Oh, we're all going to my dick joke specialist now. I don't know. Have you, have you watched the show? Well, job, Pat. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's not a joke specialist. You really think that about Nick? No, uh, what the hell just happened? Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to get people who are smoking and drinking pissed off. You know, they're like, hey, we're raising the prices to seven bucks. Seven bucks? Yeah, why? You wouldn't want to protest? No, but it's messed up. I'll pay it, but here. Yeah. But if you don't drink and you don't smoke like me, then huh, who cares? Then you're boring. There should be a tax on that. <laughs> get with the program. Grant, run, do whatever you got. Forget school, quit, go to Europe, hide. Well, because tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I'm asking you to make a terrible choice. These three cockroaches have all been convicted of capital crimes, and tonight, you, the audience, will choose which one will die. Now it's kind of funny you bring that up because I was going to talk to you about the existential crisis kind of thing. You know, what is that word? Never heard of that word. See, I'm not educated. What does such essential mean? What the hell does that mean? I don't understand. Where are you from? From Hell's Kitchen, and you're throwing in those big words. I got trouble with the. <laughs> Dead roads walking. Though I fall to the valley of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thank you, Father. Governor? Governor. <laughs> if you were at an art gallery show, mm -hmm. you saw a guy like me, but what? Well, if I had my glasses, yeah. you saw me, maybe I'm, I'm just standing here looking like this mm -hmm. in the picture. Mm -hmm. Would you be attracted to me and say, that guy's kind of cool? <laughs> Just pretend you don't know me. Uh, mm. with, the, with the thumb in the mouth? All right, okay. <laughs> this is the show in the trenches. You dig up a hole and you fill the hole again. That's all the show is about. You ain't gonna go nowhere after that. After here, there's no musicals, it's over. Trust me, trust me. The new kids are coming along, they dress different. They're pissed off because I got a, a members only. Who cares? A personality trait that people criticize me most for is... Um... <laughs> Telling white girls I'm Method Man? <laughs> Answer. Smoking too much goddamn weed, yo. I apologize, it was Method Man. My fault. <laughs> no, what are you doing? What is your problem? Jeez. What are you, a lesbian or something? So, Pat, you're saying basically if I, uh... I'm not saying that basically. <laughs> what are you correcting my genius for? Leave it alone. Let it die. You got the show. I finish here. I gotta go and get a club date. <laughs> How many tattoos do I have? <laughs> See? You didn't think, uh, there was an Arab Ben Affleck. And there he is. <laughs> That's why tonight I present the American cast system. Uh, Two-thirds of the country is in this next cast. The War Martians. <laughs> These are uh, the majority. These are people who have spent some part of their week in a Walmart. Loud families, blue-collar single guys, and people who work in office parks are all in this cast. If you've celebrated at least one birthday, along with the wait staff at Applebee's, you probably belong here. All I'm talking about is sometimes you ever get that, like, you know, I get that kind of sense of, uh, you know, 
I kind of... never get that sense. <laughs> I am the happiest man on the planet here, and you're busting my fuzzles. Let it lay. Let it go. Go nice. Go home and say to yourself, why did they pick me and this kid's out of work? <laughs> I think that's some good advice for all college graduates. Right. Thank yes. you very much, Pat.